presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Jungle Jim, Lynn Chalmers, and Cola were delayed in their search for the missing missionary when two wild animals met on the trail in a fierce death fight. At the plantation house, Shanghai Lil gloated over her enemy, the Reverend Chalmers. But even in the face of torture, the missionary bravely attempted to make the vampire Batwoman repent. He failed and was put in a dungeon cell to await his fate. In the meantime, Shanghai Lil learned that Jungle Jim, Lynn, and Kolo were advancing on her plantation hideout. These thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Now we continue the story. Shanghai Lil is speaking. Those drums, Laba, are sending orders to my sentries along the trail. If any of them catch sight of Jungle Jim and his companions, they've been told what to do. Ah, by God, I bet they have. You no fool, boss. Got for to hand it to you. You think of everything. Yes, I try to. And so far, I've been able to figure everything out pretty well. Boss, ever since I learned you kill a man, my ears itch for to know some more about that. Tell Jacques Lapa about that. I don't want to talk about it. Why not, boss? I tell you about cop the fellas I put out the way. There's a great difference in the reasons why you killed your man and why I killed mine, Lapa. I'm not going to talk about it, do you hear? I hear, boss. But maybe someday you'll tell Jacques Lapa, eh? Maybe. But I want you to get this straight. It wasn't for the reason our gospel spouting guest thinks it was. I believe you, boss. You all time got good reason for everything. I wonder for a long time why you hate that Padre. When he get here, by God, I see why. I don't blame you, boss. That judge and jury wouldn't have either if they'd known that... There, I almost got killing my face off after I said I wouldn't talk about it. You keep yours shut, Laba, and don't try to get me started again, do you hear? Okay, boss. Laba do like you say. How's the Reverend getting along in the guest house? Mm, too good, boss. We only give him food one day. But he don't say nothing. He doesn't? No cry out, no beg for anything, no say nothing. By God, no fun for try to make him squeal. He's like one dead fish. He is, is he? Trying to beat us by playing the stoical martyr, is he? We oui, boss. Well, I'll fix him. I'll make him yell so loud, you'll, you'll hear him all over the plantation. What you going for to do, boss? Stop giving him food? Ah, oh, that's too easy, Laba. Too easy? Saint Jean Baptiste. Jacques Laba no like for go without food very long. I'll remember that the next time I have to punish you. Oh no, boss! Please don't take away my food. <laughs> it makes you cringe at the very thought of it, doesn't it? You've heard of Achilles, haven't you? Huh? No, boss. He never down here in these jungle while I've been here. You're quite right about that, Laba. Achilles is said to have lived centuries ago in the old Greek times. His mother was told no man would be able to kill him if she dipped him in the river Styx. That true, boss? By God, I like Fort go there myself. Well, Achilles was dipped in the Styx like his mother was told. And he was invulnerable, except for one heel. Why was that, boss? His mother had to hang on to him somehow, didn't she? And one day a fella shot an arrow into that one weak spot and licked him. And ever since, they say every man has one weak spot where you can hurt him. By God, the Padre's weak spot is his daughter, eh, boss? That's right. And yours is your stomach. How do you know that, boss? That's my business, Laba, finding the weak spot of everybody. Everybody? Enemies, sure thing, but why friends? Because you never can tell when your friends may become your enemies. I never think of that before. That's plenty true, boss. Both those fella I have get rid of. They want my best friend. Well, watch your step with me, Laba. I know you like a book. Laba, loyal to you, boss. See that you are. Now, go get the reverend out of the dungeon. Take him to that hilltop over there, the one that rises up among the foliage. You know the one I mean? May we, boss. I know. It's flat like tabletop. That's it. Well, take our praying parson out there. Then what I do? Red Eagle him.
pushing steadily along the trail, Jungle Jim, Lynn Chalmers, and Kolo bend all their efforts to catching up with the missing missionary. How are you making out, Lynn? All right, Jim. How much farther do you suppose we'll have to go? Oh, I must be truthful, Lynn. There's no use trying to tell you it'll only be a little ways now. You know as much as Colo and I do about it. Oh, dear. Why did those animals pick the trail to fight on? We wasted an awful lot of time back there. Well, if we hadn't waited, Lynn, we might have lost something far more precious. The life of one of us. You're probably right, Jim. But Dad's in danger of his life. We must get to him as quickly as possible. I know how you feel, Lynn. Believe me, I do. Well, your father is my best friend down here in the jungle. My only white friend outside of yourself. Don't you think I'm anxious about his safety, too? Why, why do you suppose I broke camp and came up here? I'm sorry, Jim. Of course you're as anxious as I am. It only seems to take forever to catch up to him. Well, we're going as fast as we can follow the broken trail made by Mamba as he led your father through this jungle here. Where do you suppose he's taken him? To some other village? I don't know. Kolu! Yes, this one, Jim. Where does this direction we're going lead us? To what village? We no go to village, Juan. We head into heart of jungle. Oh, then there's an even greater danger than I thought. If there isn't a village, that means he's being taken to some camp of roaming cannibals. Well, let's hope not, Lynn. Well, didn't you say this is the land of no romance? Yes, that's true. But Colo and I ran into a band of headhunters the other side of Purawani. We think they may all be away on a hunting expedition. You're just saying that to quiet me, Jim. You know perfectly well that Dad's in a tight spot, and so are we. Well, there's no harm in hoping the headhunters aren't home, is there? No, of course not. Nobody is hoping that any more than I am. But there's one thing that struck me as peculiar. What's that, Lynn? We haven't seen a single sign that proves Dad was brought this way. Oh, yes, we have. This irregular trail we're following is proof. How so? Well, it's off the beaten path. Mamba must have broken it for himself as some kind of a shortcut to where he's taking your father. Perhaps. But we haven't seen any tangible proof. Well, you mean your father hasn't left any signs for us to follow? Yes. So far, it looks as though he either went along pretty peaceably, or else he didn't go this way at all. Well, that's easy to explain, Lynn. Your father might have been bound and forced to march ahead of Mamba. Oh, I never thought of that. Or he might have been unconscious and carried this way. Oh. Come on, Jim. What is it, Carlo? Look, look. Bush all flat here. Ground all tore up. What did I tell you, Lynn? Here's where your father either regained consciousness or started to put up a battle. Jim. Oh, Jim, there's blood on the ground. No, 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 no. Don't worry, Lynn. It... Well, it may be Mamba's. Me find something, Juan. Why, Dad, pocket size Old Testament. Well, I guess this is proof enough that we're on the right trail. Come on, let's go. Back at the plantation, Jacques Labar proceeds to carry out Shanghai Lil's orders. Get along, Padre. Where are you taking me? You see, plenty soon. We go up these hills. Mamba! Yes, it's one, Labar. Bring that hacks and those pegs. I carry the rope. What are you going to do with me, Labar? Just you wait, Padre. It no be long now. You find out. Didn't I hear drums a while ago? What are they for? Uh, Wallyo! Boku! You come with me. Well, I see you've been given orders to keep still. We, oui, Padre, la part to keep still. You to do the talking. What do you mean? You see. I say, what are we doing up here? Ah. The tully is blazing hot on this hilltop. Remember, drive peg here. Yes, it's one of us. Are you going to burn me at the stake, Labar? Is that to be Shanghai Lil's idea of my fate? You see. Yeah, remember. Now drive another peg here. Yes, this one. Two stakes. Am I going to have company, Labar? Go on, Padre. Joke while you can. You won't feel like it plenty soon. Mamba, another peg over here. Yes, this one, Labar. Oh, I see. Then you're going to drive another one over there. Four stakes in a perfect square. Now I know what you're up to. The Padre is right, Mamba. Put another peg here. Yes, it's one. Well, very well carried out so far. And it will be carried out just like the boss woman say. You hear? Now, you lie down that square, Padre. So you think you're going to spread eagle me, do you? I know it, Padre. Lie down there. Never of my own free will. Okay, Padre, you asked for this. Oh! oh. Yeah. Now, spread out those legs so Mamba Goku can tie them those pegs. Never. 
All right, boys. Tie him up. You, That's it. That's it. Ah. Now, untie his arms and spread them to the other peg. Ah, ha, 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 ha. There, how you like that, Padre? Now you can look up to the heaven all day. You, you feel Maybe you get plenty hot in the sun, Padre. I better open up your shirt for you. Yeah, that's good. Now, by car, maybe you sorry you sent boss woman to jail, eh? You gone for the lie there till the sun fry you to a crisp. You'll be punished for this, Lapa. You and that woman you call Bob. Not by you, we won't be punished, Pandre. Not by you, nor any of your friends. They never know what happened to you. Nobody can recognize skeleton lying in the sun. Good work, Lava. You've made a neat job of it. I think little sun tan do his white skin good for, so I pulled down the Patrick's shirt. Well, my dear Reverend Talmud, you didn't think when you were so smug in your turnaround collar and black suit and told the judge I was incorrigible and, and I don't know what else, that I'd have my revenge when I got out of that prison, did you? I only did my duty to society. You did yours by serving your time. Uh, no man or woman can be a law unto himself or herself. That's what they preach back in civilization from prophets and judges bench. Well, it's true. But bring some of those smug and sanctimonious babbers down here, and they'll find out they're wrong. Will they? Yes, just like you're finding out now. I can be a law unto myself, Reverend, and I'm doing all right at it. So you think, Lily DeVril. And so all benefactors will think until that final day when they all appear before the great judge. Well, you're going to find that out before I will, Reverend. You're going to have plenty of time to meditate, lying here on your back, staring up at the sun. And while you're meditating, remember this. I'm not through with you yet. As Jim, Lynn, and Colo press on through the bush, their efforts spurred on by the knowledge that they ought to soon catch up to the captured missionary, they approach the boundary of the Batwoman's domain. One of her sentries, perched in a tree, sees the trio. He lines the sights of his rifle and squeezes the trigger. Jim's helmet is torn from his head, but his right hand comes up with a flaming gun. The sniper's rifle drops from his nerveless fingers, and he pitches backward to the ground. Good. You shoot him, Juan Jim. Boy, that was a close call. Oh, Jim, are you hurt? No, his bullet went clean through my helmet. Never touched me at all. Well, it looks like we're getting someplace now, all right. Somebody's got guards stationed out here. Rum? Yes. What does that mean? That means our shots have been heard, Lynn. And those throbbing tom-toms are telegraphing our arrival. What will happen when the news of Jungle Jim's arrival is telegraphed by the... Jungle drums. Can Jungle Jim safely bring Lynn and Colo through the guards around the plantation and effect the rescue of Lynn's father? Be sure and be with us again next week at the same time for the continuation of the thrilling and mysterious adventures which are pictured each week in the Comic Weekly, distributed everywhere with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Many of the greatest characters of the picture world will also entertain you. The Little King, Cats and Yammer Kids, Toots and Casper, Barney Google, and many other famous inhabitants of the world of colored pictures and the next group of colored poster stamps to add to your present collection. Don't forget our date next week at the same time for the continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.